For our video today, here are the top 10 interesting facts you may not have known about confidence. Living in our society can be an incredible struggle for so many of us. All around us, we are surrounded by reminders that there are unspoken standards for us to meet. Wealth, success, education, looks, the list goes on and on. At the end of the day, what is the one thing that ends up suffering the most? It is our confidence. Think about it. How are we supposed to feel about ourselves if we can't have that chiseled body? If we don't have an education from the right school, how are we supposed to get that decent job? So many of these questions can cause our confidence to tank. However, this doesn't have to be the case for us. There are so many things about confidence that we simply don't think about. Psychologically though, just knowing more about it can help us battle against the thoughts that drag it down. So, here are 10 amazing facts about confidence that you may not have known about. Before we move on, be sure to click the subscribe button and the notification bell. We want you to stay informed of when our videos drop. We love having you here and want you with us more. Number 10. Self-esteem and confidence are two different things. We hear the term self-esteem quite often and usually equate this to confidence. But according to psychologists, this is a false premise. They are actually two similar yet separate things that we commonly get mixed up. Professor Richard Petty of Ohio State University once delivered a TED Talk and explained the difference between self-esteem and confidence. According to Professor Petty, self-esteem is our opinion about ourselves, how much we like ourselves. Confidence is how sure we are of this judgment. In other words, if you tell yourself that you are an amazing person, it will boost your self-esteem. If you believe the words, though, it will boost your confidence. Number 9. Acting confident can actually make you more confident. Confidence is more about actions than feelings. How many times do we wait until we feel that certain way before we take a step towards what we want? Sometimes it works, but other times that feeling never comes then all it ends up being is a missed opportunity. Now, this doesn't mean we should go into things blindly. That would be reckless. Rather, try to get out of the habit of overthinking. We've all done it. Talking ourselves out of something that we realized later on would have been a good thing. The counter to this would be to have a vision of what you want, think it out a bit, and then go for it. You may succeed, but you may fail. There are lessons in failure which help in the process of getting back up and trying again. All of this builds confidence. Number 8. Confidence is largely situational. There is one great thing about confidence. It isn't needed all the time. Much like a tool that can be brought out when needed, confidence only needs to be brought out when needed. There is a misconception that confidence is a mindset or a feeling that should be kept with us at all times. But remember, confidence isn't a personality trait or anything. It is our ability to believe in our self-esteem. Some days, it just isn't there and that's okay. Walking around trying to be confident all the time can be quite exhausting. On top of that, it can actually work against us. What happens to a person if they have the idea that confidence should be kept with you all the time and they don't have it? They'll question themselves even more than they did before and start wondering what it is they are doing wrong. Even worse, they could question their own value. Practice confidence, but don't feel like you're less if you just don't have it one day. Number 7. We are ultimately responsible for our self-confidence. So many of us have been through some harrowing times in our lives. Some of us may have been treated poorly, abused, or lied to. Others may have been cheated on abandoned, ignored, or manipulated. They are all terrible things to go through, but they are not defining things. There is a point where being the victim of our circumstances ends and responsibility begins. It is at this time where our confidence level is no longer affected by others, but only by ourselves. Understand that this is an incredibly difficult thing and often requires help in the form of counseling or therapy, neither of which is bad. But even if therapy isn't your thing, the road to gaining your confidence back starts with making the decision to be in control of yourself, instead of the painful memories you may hold on to. Number 6. Self-confidence inspires trust. Some people confuse confidence with arrogance. 
Real confidence shows through in a person's ability to carry himself with pride while respecting others. It isn't a license to walk around and act like a know-it-all jerk. When others see that you are confident without the need to advertise it, it inspires trust. People are naturally drawn to someone they feel safe around. But this isn't just in the physical sense. Properly carrying yourself with confidence will let people know that they trust you with sensitive information. They can count on you to get a difficult task done. They trust your counsel. It is a natural draw that will not only help reinforce your own confidence, but could boost the confidence of others. Number 5. If you want to be confident, you have to be competent. It's true. Confidence isn't something that you get with the snap of your fingers. Sometimes it requires a certain amount of knowledge and common sense. Take a doctor as an example. Being in the medical field requires an ability to make snap decisions that may be the difference between life and death for the patient. Every second spent second-guessing or overthinking is critical. The doctor has to be absolutely confident in his abilities to save a person's life. While the dire situation may not be the same for us, the principle still applies. We have to either have the knowledge or be in pursuit of knowledge in order to gain confidence. Number 4. Having the right mindset and attitude are essential for confidence. As we have already covered, confidence doesn't exist for someone every day of the week. Sometimes it takes having a little reminder. So our mindsets and attitudes towards ourselves must have a certain level of positivity to them. Being negative can crush your morale and affect your productivity if you're trying to focus on a certain task or goal. This doesn't mean to fake it until you make it. Faking something is a chore by itself. Rather, when negative attitudes start to set in, we may need to remind ourselves of our past achievements and how rewarding our accomplishments will be. Number 3. Confident people feel comfortable publicly sharing their achievements as well as their failures. Acknowledging your achievements can be a good thing when done in the right way. However, this is where we highlight something from earlier. Failures come with lessons. Confident people know this and don't have a problem owning it. Confidence is not just about displaying what you know, it is about acknowledging what you lack. It is a unique opportunity to gain knowledge and learn from our mistakes. Don't forget, confidence also requires us to be competent. What better way to increase our competency than to acknowledge our weaknesses and failures? It shows us how to become stronger. Number 2. We have to have a certain level of emotional intelligence. Studies have shown that a person's ability to recognize and manage his or her own emotions is directly tied to their level of self-confidence. Another way of putting it is that confident people can see themselves from an objective point of view. This helps them to stay mindful of others while keeping a tight rein on his own actions. In addition to this, the ability to manage one's own emotions can also be used to help others manage their emotions as well. Before we get to our number one, be sure to give this video a like. We love knowing what our audience likes and want to make more for you. So let us know with a thumbs up. Number 1. Self-confidence doesn't come without self-acceptance This will undoubtedly be the most cliché entry in this list. However, it is also the most important. We all have to look ourselves in the mirror every day. Yes, we do what we can to fix some of the minor imperfections. But what about the things that you can't see? What about your beliefs or personality traits? Self-confidence cannot be achieved without accepting the good with the bad. This is when the process of change starts. The more you accept, the more you can change. Eventually, the person you are will be refined into someone you can truly be proud of. Do you agree with our list? What would you add? Let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to check out some of our previous videos. We'll see you next time.